Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to fold a mandarin duck. This is a traditional model. I'll be using a 6 inch sheet of kami. And we're going to start with the colored side down. Then we'll fold in half along the diagonal. So I'll bring this top left corner down to meet the bottom right corner. Line those up. And then hold that corner in place and then crease. And then unfold. Now I'm going to bring this bottom edge in to meet that center crease that we just made. So I'll line that up there. Make sure it lines up all the way down and then crease. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Let's bring this left edge in to meet that center crease. And then crease. Now turn the model over. Then we're gonna bring this right corner over this direction. We'll make a valley fold about right here. This is forming the wings. It's done to taste. We're going to fold it about this much. And then just make sure this center point lies right along this crease right here. And folding through all of the layers, you can crease that down. It should look like this. Now we're going to make a valley fold right along these lines here, connecting this point and this point. So we'll bring this left corner over to the right. And then fold that all the way across. We're going to mountain fold the model in half so you can pick that up then just reform that mountain fold that you already have just like this now we're going to fold this flap up and this point right here is going to lie along this top edge so fold that straight up. And that point should lie along this edge. This bottom edge will be parallel to the top one as well. Like this. And then turn the model over. And do the same thing on this side. So bring that point up to lie along that line. It should line up perfectly with the other side, so just crease that down. Next we're going to make an outside reverse fold. We're going to bring this point up to lie along this edge here. And we're going to start with a valley fold to pre-crease this. So we'll be bringing that up. The edge should lie along the line there. Then we can crease that down. Should look about like that. Then we'll unfold. And we're going to turn that into an outside reverse fold. So to do that, We'll open up the model here. So we're opening this out at the bottom. 
And then we're gonna swing this flap upwards. And as we do that, we already have this existing crease right here. But this center crease is going to be reversed into a valley fold. And then this crease right here is going to be reversed as well. So we just reverse all those creases and then close the model back up and crease it down firmly. It should look like this. Next we're going to make another outside reverse fold. We're going to pre-crease again with another valley fold. It will start from this point right here. And it'll go out like this. I'll valley fold that down and I bring it so that this edge is just a little bit past this point here. About like that. You can see it's just a little bit past that point. Then unfold that. And then we'll open this part up. Just slowly. And then we'll start to form that crease again. As you can see, that crease is already there. This crease in the center is going to reverse again. And this crease on this side over here will reverse as well. So just reverse those creases. And then press everything down. And it should look like this. Now we're going to do two inside reverse folds. This will be to form the head and the beak. So one fold, the first one. Just gonna show you what it'll look like. It should be about like this. As you can see it starts a little bit after this point here, or where these two edges meet. And then it lies perpendicular to this top line. So when you fold it over, these should all line up at the top. And then crease that. And then we're going to swing that flap back about this much to form the beak. These are done to taste, but it should look about like this. And we'll unfold those pre-creases and then we'll need to actually form the real creases. So we'll open that up. I'm gonna see it from the bottom here. And these two creases are correct. And the two on this side will need to be reversed. So as you swing that in, turn it around and reverse this crease. And then swing it back out and reverse that other crease. And then close everything up. Now we just have two more inside reverse folds to form the tail. So we'll pre-crease these as well. It'll be about right here. So if you see that, this edge will lie along this edge, making that crease perpendicular to this edge. Fold it down about this much. And then fold it back up with another line that's perpendicular. this then unfold both of those and then we'll open that up look at it from the bottom these two creases here are the correct ones these two need to be reversed so we'll start swinging that down and we'll look at the other side and reverse this crease and then fold it back up. Reverse that one more crease. And it should look like this. And you are all done.